Hey y'all, I'm Catherine and I am a saint artist. <laughs> I have been for about two and a half years. I want to create a space, a place where people can come and talk saint, get saint tips and tricks. It is a little different of a makeup, I will admit, uh, but it's so worth it. I love it. If this video is blurry, I'm sorry. I'm just recording on my phone, so no high quality anything here. Um, I'm sitting in front of a big window. But yeah, keep watching. If you are struggling with over blending your contour, you'll wanna see this. I wanna talk today specifically about contour. I like to start off by just make sure you're prepping your skin. Skin care does matter. This is with any makeup, um, especially once you hit like 35, you can't just put anything on your face and it look good. I mean, you can. It Everybody's skin is different, <laughs> you know, and everything's a personal preference. I like to start out with a setting spray. This is the Saint Stay Spray and I use a dampen sponge and I apply it this way. I feel like I have more control and I don't like the setting spray to get in my lashes. I mean, I'm sure if I get a wild hair, sometimes I spray it directly on my face. It just depends, but you know what I mean? So... I get wordy and I'm trying not to talk too much. I'm gonna be doing each side of my face different. I think it'll just benefit people one way or the other. If you can get two brushes, I recommend the blush bronzer brush and the detail brush. I love the detail brush because it has a small end and it also has this good straight edge for contour, especially if you're wanting to try the contour and you're newer to it. I just think it's beneficial. This end, I love to blend out my creams with. It's just the perfect density. And then I like to have a fluffy brush around just in case. I've got a palette 12. I recommend starting out with the palette eight or palette 12. And when you get color matched, you have a main shade, a brightening shade, and a contour. I mean, every Saint artist does it different, but this is what I like to do and then I will recommend a couple lip and cheeks probably. I always love Bella Bronzer. And then Cream Illuminator, it's an option. This makeup, I see this is what I mean by being too wordy. This side of my face, I need more coverage. I have this birthmark here. I have more age spots over here. I do have a little over here, just some acne scarring, but I don't tend to need as much coverage over here. This first method, I'm gonna just tap in and this color looks really warm, almost orange. And when I recommend it to people, they're like, uh, excuse me, but these creams are so pigmented and you might've heard that a lot, but they really are. And when you put it on, it doesn't go on this color. Or if it goes on that color, it means you may have put too much on and you just need to blend it in a little bit. And so I go in with my main shade. This will help. This is more of a traditional type application. And it's not, I know a lot of people talk about, oh, you know, one layer makeup, it's one layer. There's really no rules. You'll see that a lot of people do it differently. I stipple this on, I, you know, tap it, you know, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> <laughs> this motion and my nose gets really red so I do like to put my main shade on my nose just because it covers better the darker the color the more it's going to cover I know we all have heard um like 2016 oh put the bright um under your eye or use your concealer to cover stuff if your concealer is too light it's going to show texture it just will. Um, and that can be not as, you know, um, that can be not as, what word am I looking for? Flattering. <laughs> I'm even gonna put some, I love to use my fingers around my eyes. I'm gonna bring my main shade even up to my eye. And you might be wondering, like, I thought you said this about contour. You haven't even talked about contour. Here we go. This brush, I just go in and kind of shimmy in my contour. The contours are stiffer. That's totally normal. If you got yours in the mail and noticed that, there's nothing wrong with it. So see how I've got more here. I'm gonna find my cheekbone. Everybody's got one. Some are more prominent. Um, I usually start right at the end of my ear 
and I'm gonna go into the corner of my eye and I'm gonna go higher than I think I need to, like this. And I like to stamp that. Now on this side, I'm gonna contour first. And you will see it adheres to your skin alone better than your uh, main shade under it. And some people like that because the contour kind of intimidates them, they like the lighter. So I uh, did it the same place and then we're gonna do the forehead. I'm gonna have to put my bangs up. Doing contour the same way. Make sure it gets back into your hairline. So then I do jaw and just real lightly. I usually will go ahead and blend this down just because I tend to forget about it. And if you wanna do nose, that's fine. I stay away from contouring my nose just because I haven't mastered that yet. <laughs> um, okay, so on this side, I'm going to go in now with my main shape. So let's go in. And I'm just gonna put this around where I've got my contour. And you wanna make sure you don't have a line here. And some people will put brightener on their forehead. I'm starting to get lines, uh, no Botox yet. <laughs> so I do not put a brightener on my forehead. That's just part of everybody will do it a little different. It's your makeup, you'll do it different too. So I just make sure it's softened there. Next, let's do brightener. This is where I really enjoy having the small end of the detail brush. We are gonna put the brightener. I don't even put brightener all the way down my nose because I have one of those noses that has the hump. So I don't wanna bring attention to that. That's what the brightener will do. See how it's a little lighter? It just will add some dimension. It will bring forward parts of your face that you want to bring forward or bring attention to. Put some on my lids. Some people will put their main shade on their lids. Some people put their brightener. It really does. Some people will mix it and put it on. All right, next is bronzer. We are gonna take this end of the brush, same brush. I haven't switched anything out. I haven't cleaned anything. If you have a bunch of makeup stuck in your bristles, you're using too much. When you're putting your makeup on, you should still be able to fluff your bristles. I always like to put some down my neck. And then I will take what's ever left and just go down the sides of my nose. I will turn the brush around and always on your cheeks, try and blend up. This part is blending out your contour. A little softer on this side where I put my main shade on first and then contoured. A little more drastic on this side, but nothing crazy in my opinion. Lip and cheek is next. Still going in with this side of the brush. And it is possible to do your whole face with one brush if that's what you wanna do. I start with my lip and cheek. This is the color sandstone. I start at the backs of my cheeks. And this is another thing. A lot of people will go in and dot it on and then blend it out. I go in and into my palette and go straight to my face. Once I get to the apples of my cheeks, I have less product on my brush so it's not depositing as much. I like blush on my cheeks though. So we're gonna blend this out, I'll just stamp it. I'm still stippling. Stippling is the way to go. None of like the swirly, swipey stuff. Sometimes I just go up to my temples if I've got a little extra. So that's sandstone. And look at it in the tin. It can look a little intimidating, but it's perfect. It's beautiful on the lips too with the lip and cheeks, especially this is a satin formula, which is more matte. I just kind of press it in. I use it more as a stain. 
So look, you can see the natural glow. That's with no cream illuminator, but I will show you what cream illuminator looks like. Okay, so back to contour. If you feel like you want your contour to look more like that, go in back to your contour just a little bit and you just add a little. You can add at the end. Like take a step back, evaluate the situation and There you go, you added a little contour. Here, we'll just add some on the side. Now, say you wanna sharpen your contour. Then I go into, sometimes I'll just mix my main and brightening shade and you just use it as a little magic eraser. If you feel like you got too close to your smile lines, just go in, clean that up. So that's it. I think I need mascara on, so hold on one second. All right, mascara's on. I always feel better when I have mascara on. Always feels a little more complete. So to finish it off, no matter what makeup you're using, I recommend after you have your complexion products on to remove any excess product with a dampened sponge. And remember, it has that setting spray on it also, so it's also setting it. If you'd rather powder, this can be set with a powder. I do recommend only powdering where absolutely necessary. Try and let your skin shine through. If you like a more mattified look, then powder all over, go ahead. But I feel like this makeup really looks its best when it's not set all the way with a powder. That is it for now. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. I will put up in the description um, a link that you will have to copy and paste. I cannot share clickable links. I have like 12 subscribers, so <laughs> I think you have to have more to do that. So um, I you help, will have to copy and paste my color match form, but I will put it up in the description. If you are ready to get color matched, I'd love to help you. And if you want to head to my Instagram, I will put my handle up there. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I would love to just continue helping. If you have any more Saint questions or makeup questions in general, I would love to help, especially over 40. Leave in the comments below. Bye y'all.